Hey, how's it going, my fellow Homo sapiens? This is your boy Ujimaki Hado, and I'm coming at you with a Bujin deck profile. At my locals, I won it. I went undefeated with this deck. This deck worked very well. So let's go ahead and hop right into the deck profile. I run three Bujin Yamatos, or I like to call him by his name, his god name, Bujin Yamato Takabu. You gotta have three. Basically, what this card does is he allows you to search your deck for a Bujin monster and allow you to discard one card from your hand. And you want to get your turtles or your hares in the graveyard, whatever you want in the graveyard, and pretty much what monsters you want in your hand, like Crow or Crane. We're running three Mikazuki. So great. It's a 1900 feeder. When a Bujin Beach Warrior monster is destroyed, you special summon this puppy from your hand. Also, when a Bujin monster discards from your hand to the graveyard, at the end phase, you can add a Bujin spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. Oh, so good. And you can do it on your opponent's end phase also. So good. We run three. We won one. Ashra. Um, next format, when Primal Order should come out, I'm going to be running three because we get that new Bujin monster that allows you to banish. This one right here says when a Bujin monster is banished from your graveyard, you can special summon him in defense. And if a Bujin monster, I believe, is discard from your hand, you get to draw a card and discard one card from your hand. Um, the good thing about him is he has 1900 defense, but I'm only running one. I needed an extra Bujin card in here, uh, Bujin Beast Warrior, and he just worked pretty good. Next is hair. We run two hair. So great. First thing first, uh, you can banish him to stop him from one of your Bujin Beast Warrior monsters to be destroyed by card effects or battle. So great. Mirror Force, chain with hair. Uh, your monster's gonna die from battle, go ahead and remove it from the graveyard. So great. Two Bujin Turtles. When your opponent wants to target your monsters, and it's not just Bujin Beast Warrior, it's Bujin Monsters, period. Banish them from the graveyard, negate that effect. Save those monsters. You want to keep that your model on the field. Three, Crane. Oh my goodness, so great. This card doubles the original attack of your Bujin monsters. So if they lance or their monsters then half some type of way, double the original attack. I ain't worried about that. I ain't worried about your lands or your forbidden chalice. Run three. Now, Crow. I run two crows. A lot of people don't run this in your deck, in their decks. Me personally, I love having crow for a simple reason. It makes people scared to attack. When you have a 2800 beater on the field and I negate that attack and you take half of that 2800, people's not happy, especially when their life points is getting very, very low. It saves you for things like glad beast that needs to attack and they might not be destroyed by battle. You can negate that attack or for certain cards that attack and destroy on um, contact. You need this card to save you. And a lot of times, it helps. It helps burn your opponent. It's a hand trap, so it's very hard to negate for other people. You're gonna run two of those. Bujin Peacock. Oh my goodness. This card is good. It's not great, but it's good. I run two of these cards. Basically, if you don't play any other cards besides Bujin, on your main phase two, you can discard this card to add a Bujin monster from your deck to your hand. The good thing about this is, let's say you didn't get Bushin Yamato, guess what? You can use this card to save your ass. So basically, just discard it to the graveyard and get that card. Now for our non Bushin monsters, Unis is, there's no reason why you should not be running Unis in this deck. All your monsters are like. Now for the trap cards, I run two Wordy Creeds. The main reason I run Ready Creeds, I don't play that many traps in this deck, and you'll be amazed how many decks this card right here shuts down, just hands down. Um, one thing, I, I only play really this one monster, so I don't want to worry about that back row. I want to stop that back row. That's what I want to do. I want to stop that back row because you're not targeting my monster, you're not going to destroy my monster with your monster effects. So as long as I can shut that back row off, good. Run two Ready Creeds main deck. Three, Bane of Emptiness. Now, this card, once again, is great. Shutdowns a lot of decks. You said, okay, you're probably thinking, why run Ready Creed and Bane of Emptiness? It's, still, it's just too good. You have options. You have options, and that's the great thing about this deck. If someone's special summoning a lot, guess what? I'm going to shut it down because I'm not going to play a lot of cards. I'm going to have Bujin Yamada on the field and just keep attacking. I run three. And two Mirror Force. 
It's a staple. I like it. Sometimes I might not want to burn up my cars in my hand or burn up my crows. Or let's say I burn up my crows and cranes. Well, guess what? I have Word of Creed to fall back on. Three, Tinky. Oh my god, this guard is so great. It allows you to search out your Bujin Beast Warrior monsters. And they all gain 100 attack. That 100 attack really helps out. One, three. Pot of Duality. We run two pots. Let's say you open up, you don't have Bujin Yamada in your hand. Guess what? You're going to search them out. You're going to do whatever you can do to get that man to your hand. You really need that card in your hand. And one of the cards in this deck that works so well, so well with this deck, Kala Coliseum. It shuts down so many other decks, especially decks that spam, that want to go off, they can't do anything. You get Bougie Yamada on the field, you just got that one monster on the field, and if you do summon a second monster, you know you're going to see, you're never most likely going to have more than one monster, you're just going to buy your time. This right here shuts down decks. If I get this on the field, and they can't get rid of it, and they get rid of my monster, I'm going to win. So usually, they're going to have to blow this up. They're going to have to get rid of this some type of way. So let's say they somehow kill Yamato. I'm going to summon Megazuki from the hand. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still going to have that one monster. This right here makes the deck so good. Three, hands down. Two MS teams, just for that back row. Maybe the field card. You know, some people like playing Zombie World to kind of mess you up. That they just save you. And... Fusion Reincarnation, so great. Oh my god, this card right here wins me games. I can bring a Fusion, banish Fusion monster and a Fusion out of my graveyard and a C for another Fusion monster and then still normal summon and do whatever I want to do. So it's just so great. Right here, I can have no monsters on the field. Guess what? Bam, I play this, I'm gonna win. Two. Mind control, let's say uh, somebody have a level 4 monster and I have uh, another level 4 monster, I don't have Bougie Yamada on my hand or something of that nature, I'm going to take it and I'm going to see with it. And Dark Hole. Next is my side deck. We run two effect bailers. You know what it does? It negates the monster effect. Skill Drain. Now you're thinking, why run Skill Drain? Well, Skill Drain is pretty, to me personally, it's like a lesser evil. If I'm going against a deck that effects is just so broken or I just can't not control their effects and they're beating me, they're pounding me down, I have to choose a lesser evil. And Skill Drain is that card. Yes, it hurts my monsters, but at the same time, I can still play my hand traps, I can still play my graveyard effects, so it, say, it still saves me. I played this against a person this Saturday when I went undefeated at the tournament at my locals and it saved me. They were playing E-Dragons, they wanted to go off, they couldn't. Actual word of cream for those burn decks or people who is just so trap heavy, it just does not make sense. Shadowing, Shadow of Prisoning Mirror, negate all dark monster effects. One thing you know about this deck is, I have all lights. I want to stop anything that's dark, Grey Keepers, anything you're going to play that's dark, I'm negating that effect. Three side deck. Kasasei on my light. Now, I don't have a problem with darks, however, a lot of people have a lot of decks that's popular in the meta right now that has a lot of dark monsters. Well, guess what? You're not summoning, you're not attacking. Put it face down and keep it in your hand. We're going to run three of those. Now, E-Dragons is still, for some odd reason, an issue, even though they pretty much had a holy cause on the E-Dragons and nerfed the crap out of them and only got them at one. They're still building E-Dragons, people are still playing these dragons. So, I play Electric Virus, guess what? Give me your monster and I'm going to use it on you. And one extra MST, just in case for the people who love playing back row. Now for my extra deck. Three Bujin Sisinsu, or however you pronounce his name. Basically, you can discard, you can detach from him to add a Bujin monster from your deck to your hand or send it to the graveyard. And he can attack all monsters on the field. So, 2400 beat up. Bujin Kastra, or how you pronounce his name. Very hard to pronounce his name, people. He is 
2500 he mills five i really don't care for the milling five i wish he didn't mill five but for each bujin card that sends to the graveyard he gains 100 when a bujin beast warrior monster would be destroyed you can detach to save him so great i run three i'm going to get him on the field i'm going to send under him bujin tensu tensu mall whatever 1800 attack, 2300 defense. I'm going to special summon him in defense. He allows me to draw two cards. I'm going to discard one card. Now I'm going to draw two cards. If this card is removed from the field, not destroyed, but if it's removed, so if it's destroyed or destroyed by battle or bounced back to the hand, how many materials we had on this? You can special those Bougie monsters, Bougie Beast Warrior monsters from your um, graveyard. Cowboy got, 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 cowboy. One, wind up Zemanes. At my locals, people like to play this quick play spell card that makes sure seeds go away and especially some of the two monsters back for their one level lower. I get tired of that, so I put a Zen Mains in for fun. A black ship of corn. 39. The two cards I'm actually adding to this deck is 101 and the Sector Knight. But that's all I have for you today. My name is Uzi Mike Hado. And thanks for watching. If you have any ideas of making the deck any better or you run it a little bit different, let me know in the comment box below. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. And you have a great day.